Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where I really do th I think now I must have, be able to have HDR on while I'm recording this before the Elgato that I had wasn't would that like high dynamic range or whatever it wouldn't let you have that on it would specifically like like it, the screens would be black like nothing would work and I'd be like oh dang I must turn HDR on for a different game when I was playing on my own you know but holy cow I really do think or maybe it's just been so long since I've seen the game but Jeez, the cat's also trying to knock over everything. Please stop, kitty cat. Anyway, I just uh, had to take a quick break from work and go apply for a new job because uh, my old friend was like, hey, apply for our job here. And I was like, okay. And I already knew he was going to ask me that, but I'm still like, eh, like it's still stressful, <laughs> you know. So, oh, I did. Um, sorry, I'm going to have to run back. I did run to here to save at the campfire. Um, but yeah. It's a job out, and he freaking even said I should apply for, like, one of the higher-up positions, like, the higher, like, higher than any of the other ones I've done before, and I was like, I don't know about that, buddy. <clears throat> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, uh, maybe one day I'll get responsible and, like, actually get, like, a stable job position, but as it is, I'm really happy just living out of my car and staying at my sister's on occasion and... Oop, that's not I'm trying to do the floaty thing and so I don't know but maybe I'm shooting myself in the foot by not trying to take a more a higher up the chain position but honestly it sounds just okay I'm lazy I guess I don't know lazy's maybe a bit lazy is doing myself a disservice you're back awesome that's awesome I really hope you're not gonna be an issue because I freaking I did that right like hang on let's like it's saved uh, notebook. Okay, it did. Anyway, don't let me get too melancholic about, not melancholic, I guess, uh, don't let me wax on too much about work, but yeah, it's always just kind of stressful. I fixed up my resume, added the new stuff and uh, and I always hate, I don't know, I, just, I also hate like leaving a current project midway, but this other, I don't know, I want to try things out, you know? Like, I'm footloose and fancy Strange. free. Well, nothing's stopping me from taking a boat. It, uh, well, I guess. Just one of these, just one of their boats? They didn't leave anybody here to guard their boats? I'm just gonna... Which boat do you want me to take? Anyway. Like, not this, but a boat. <laughs> it highlights boat. Hang on, what does it say about boat? Capable of short distance stuff. Cool. Um, does it... Well, I'm trying to do the map. Um, okay, no, so it is out. Okay, I was like, is there a boat out there that it wants me to do? But, no. Yeah, I know, we got stuck in the surf. Like how do how do I boat? How how to boat? I it, it it's set again map. It's right. It's like boat, boat to the. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I thought I saw a pop up. How? Oh, use bo over here. What? I'm like crawling all over here, and the use boat is over here because I have to push it. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, then. No, yeah, I'm partially distracted, though, because from the work thing, now I was like, oh, should I even record? Am I going to be too distracted and, like, too half-anxious? Plus, I got my medication again, which always gives me, makes me a little anxious on the first couple days after I haven't had it for a while. This is stunning. This is stu I also think, has Aloy ever used a boat? I guess she's got lakes. But the rivers were too shallow. Also, we're just approaching the camp. We're just approaching the base camp of potentially hostile. Wait, they're not hostile anymore. They like me. They think I'm a descendant. I mean, I am. No one's guarding this side of the ferry either. Where are the Quen? Quen. Oh, well, they're dead. Oh, well, this it. one wasn't even a warrior. Should be to the northeast. This one. This one was just a person. Like just a normal person. Oh, 
them. I am just curious. Oh, do you guys see this? Is this is this how it friggin' This game is beautiful. <laughs> like wow. But I just I am I just I'm just floored. Like, holy cow. How do you eat? Yeah, screenshot. Yeah, exit. Anyway. I mean, the game's always been pretty, but if this is... Either it's either it's been a long time, no see, distance makes the heart grow fonder, etc, etc. Or... HDR that I left on when I was probably playing Ghost of Tsushima at one point. Um... Friggin... It's awesome. <laughs> is there... They gotta have more stuff than that in here. That's why I'm kind of looking for stuff. I love stuff. I love free stuff. Uh, are we, hang on, hang on, hang on, hold on, what am I even doing? We gotta look and see if we can see the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. Am I, are we like on it? Oh, it's gotta be, hang on, map. Why is she acting like it's like super windy? Not that bad. Oh, sweet, I was like, they can't just put me on a dot out here. I'll be very upset. Oh, freaking tall neck out here. Oh, that's right. That's right. I did know that tall neck was there. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, jeez. Where are you at? I don't even remember. I was, I was on, I was here. Oh, so I was out here. Because I was, yeah, I was looking. If you go past the slaughter spine. The Golden Gate Bridge. Maybe I'll see it from out there. I'm sure that I will. I'm being, I'm being far too, like, not like, like, I don't know, nitpicky. Look at the freaking wind moving all this stuff. Who, who said this game could be this pretty? Ah! <laughs> what? What I have? Oh, okay. Frost would do a lot of damage. Okay. Um, well, I'm not going to. No, don't. Don't, don't even. Don't worry about it. I'm literally not going to bother you. Ah! Nope, don't do it. Nope, don't do it. Don't, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Am I in? Am I in like the town right now? Am I in the town of San Francisco? If I don't, Kitty, don't stand on the laptop. Don't. I I will I will riot. I, I will have a cow. I'll do it. Pop it out right now. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he is like a monster purr. Oh, oh good. That's, that's exactly where I don't want to be. A stalker site. <laughs> I thought I was far enough away. That actually scared me. Oh, I think the cat really wants to be on or near the laptop because it's it's very warm right now, which is a little concerning. Holy cow. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be going further. Oh, no, I'm kind of going on. I'm on, I'm on the right path. I thought I was going to have to, like, okay. I was, like, having to turn more. Follow the coast more. Woo! What? What do you want? I. Why are so many of you here?
I'm sure I would recognize some of these landmarks. That, that looks like it's something recognizable. The skyline looks like it's probably some recognizable buildings. So these are the ruins of San Francisco. Mm, yes! The entire city of crumbling towers. And somewhere buried out here is Thebes. I hope Alva and the Quinn can help me find it. Ooh, buddy! San Francisco! That's cool, that's really cool. It's just interesting to see, like, a post-apocalyptic version of your world, you know? Or, like, you know, I'm not like San Francisco is my world, but, you know, just, you know, in general. Um... This is a safe place. And I've actually, I've been to a lot of the other places that we've seen in the game, so this is my first time really being, kitty, I'm gonna lose it. Um, I thought he was eating the cord. Um, my first time being in a place that I haven't really visited. At least that I remember, you know? Remember much of, anyway. Something iconic. Uh, I bet you these ruins look so nice, too, because the Ostrom haven't gotten their hands on it. So the Tanakh, they're actually really great for architectural preservation. Uh, 0.75 to them. You know, I haven't gone nearly underwater nearly as much as I'd like to. I hope I can do more underwater stuff out here. I'll bet you Thebes is underwater. To be fair, it's actually really scary to go underwater when you can't fight anything underwater. Do I? Oh, that's a ruin. Like a... Not like San Francisco, it's just a... Yeah, a relic site. And... Well, there's a... There is a... Campfire over there. I'll just whoosh over there really quick. Isle of Spires... Freaking San Francisco with water in it. This is what it's gonna look like soon. <laughs> There's a lot of ruins out here. Yes. That broken building looks interesting. Which, that one? I if oh, you inside. mean this one, the relic. What's the question mark? Oh, okay. Is that a drone? I think that's a drone, actually. I don't know. Oh, this place, this is awesome. Okay, so for like for one like we haven't seen like we've been to like we've been to like Denver. I don't think Salt Lake was there, but we had like smaller towns and cities. Um, but San Francisco, I think, is probably the biggest one that we've seen yet. Well, where were we at the beginning of the game? Were we out here? No, we weren't. I don't remember where we were at the beginning of the game, but that had some some tall ruins like this. But yeah, for the most part, it's like, we've had, like, buildings, but not, like, sk skyscrapers. So this is really neat. Just let me get this, let me get this giver. I'm seeing the, 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 Quen, dang, I can't remember how she said it, Quen lanterns. I'm totally anglicizing that, I'm sure. Oh, there's a drone. Never mind. Must be a cyclops drone. Don't care. Oh, to get its data. What is this little little what is that like with the with the thing? Yeah, an unknown settlement. They get they get palm trees. Why was okay? Hey. Is that her? Yeah. The living ancestor. Oh, that's right. The diviner wasn't lying. She looks peaceful enough. Ancestor. You may approach. Do they think I'm a descendant or an ancestor? I was like, where's my cutscene? This is Landfall, right? I'm looking for Alva. Overseer Bohai ordered us to invite you before him should you approach. Please, come with me. Can I have armor? Go. Let him know we're coming. Oh, your sword looks awesome. Can I have your sword? I don't get a sword. I get a spear. 
It's her. The diviner was right. You guys are babies. Why do you have babies here? Oh, is this a slave thing? Ooh, it could potentially be a slave thing. Uh... Overseer Bohai. A stranger just walked through the gate. Well, tell him who I am. I knew Alva would not dare lie. You do look like Sobek. Is Alva here? I need to talk to her. I will consider your request once it is determined what you are. A living ancestor as Alva believes, or a threat lurking in such a guise. Mm -hmm. I am no threat, okay? Only if you Back get in my the way. Mainland, your soldiers fired on me without warning. So you say, infidel. None of those you engaged survived to bear witness. I held off on your squad mm -hmm. when... What? Nope, not impressed. May I present our honored Wait, CEO. is he? So, here she is. Our great mystery. Does he look like somebody? Well, Bohai, what have you divined? What is she? A mystery indeed, my CEO. How can CEO? she be so and yet know nothing of our Is world. this capitalism? Are we to believe that a living ancestor was born to this wretched land? An ocean apart from the realm oh, of the Oh, we're definitely having issues and here. If so, to what end? I cannot answer. Only she can. But I warn you, no falsehood will satisfy you. I don't think us. truthhood would satisfy now you either. Speak. Why are you here? What is your purpose? I'm looking for a place called Thebes. And what do you seek there? Alva told me a little bit about what you're after. I guess you could say I want what you want. They are calling him a CEO guaranteed. A way to heal the world. As I suspected. Tell her. Because it's a title. It's not a name. It's a title. CEO. We found <gasps> the final resting place of Ted Farrow. And you know who Ted Farrow? I guess they it do know ancestors. But the way is closed to us. Machine attacks have cut us off from the site. Diviner Alva is there, along with a complement of diggers and soldiers. But what do they think about Ted Farrow? Is she all right? Our scouts tell us that a machine has our people pinned behind their defenses, but they're holding out. Oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta know more about this whole setup. Machines, huh? I can help with that. This cultural setup. Alva told us that you are indeed for Yeah, well, man, listen. But I have a few questions first. As always. We will answer what we can. Can I? I was like, when's the thing gonna pop up? Tell me about yourself. So, Alva reports to you. I was chosen by my colleagues on the board of overseers. overseers. To oh, good. Data retrieval on this expedition, yes. And you're in charge of the expedition. He is far more than that. You are addressing the cousin of the Emperor of the Quinn. Heir to the vast holdings of the Great Delta, the first CO in five generations. All she needs to understand is that I am the authority here, and my will is to attain the secrets of Thebes. Mine too. <laughs> We're in luck. Oh, I'm so curious. You crossed the ocean on these ships? Couldn't have been easy. That's true, they have, sh they have shipwrecks. It's never easy. Like big ships. Indeed. It took seven years just to build the flotilla. This expedition is the most important undertaking of our generation. A quest 
for knowledge across the gaping sea with nothing less than the fate of the tribe at stake. Interesting sail setup. And none of it would have been possible without the will of the CO. I'm gonna scream. The voyage was difficult. The wilds here even more I'm so. gonna scream. Our sailors and soldiers have suffered much. Oh, shut up. I know that. Oh, shut up. But all for the glory of the oh, Quen. Oh, please. His public speech skills. Good to know. She's like, I'm not, I don't care. <laughs> and this is, he's not talking to me anyway. He's talking for the benefit of other people. But like, oh, I, every time they call him CEO and I see this as CEO, I'm like, oh my gosh. Because <laughs> these guys do have better access to the technology, right? Um, so they, they know who Ted Farrow is. Like this is, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this. But like, the whole idea of the Quinn and like how much they know and what they've pulled out of it, you know what I mean? Like how it's so fascinating to like like look at these cultures in Horizon Zero Dawn and in Forbidden West with the with the with the tribes that we're used to on this side, right, in North America. But like and you see as the games go on, like you see where they get their information, like how things were like mutated and changed and evolved, like stories and legends and myths and religions and like belief systems and cultures all originating from like specific points, you know? Um, and like how each peop each group of people interpreted things slightly differently, you know? But these guys have had access to more information and yet somehow they still have this like fascinating perspective on things, you know? And like, like I, I wanna know exactly how they're breaking things down. Like the fact that we had um, the military names for the Tanakh, like they had a little bit more access than other tribes did to at least some of the like the holograms and stuff, right? So they used um, like old names for things that like mo like the Nora didn't have because they didn't interact with technology like at all, you know, like the Utaru don't really have any of that, none of that. Um, but like the Tanakh like embraced a bit of the technology stuff and so they have some of the old names that they were able to pull out from some of the hologram stuff. And then these guys have even more access to the data. And so what have they managed to pull out, you know? And are they are they pronouncing CEO as CEO because that's way it would like would look to them, you know? Like ah, and they have overseers and they have freaking oh, anyway, I need to So you found Thebes. How? The ancestors revealed it to us not long after we made landfall. Almost a year Why did you, ago, why did they even come here? Through a scrap of ancient data discovered by Alva and verified by myself. It contained details about the construction of a great underground palace. If you guys are Ted Farrow fans. Where exactly? We're gonna have issues. Close. Beneath the great pyramid in the ruins beyond. Figures, Ted loves his pyramids. Have you been inside? Uh, no. He already said that. That has been a problem, one of many. And we will solve them all in time. Getting back to the site is the one at hand. Kitty, don't chew my laptop. I hope you're as effective against machines as Diviner Alva suggests. I would love to see you try and challenge me, my guy. Like, I would love to see little pansy boy here try to do something to me. What exactly are you looking for inside Yeah, Thebes? we gotta know what, what's up. I thought Alva brought back the data you needed. We risked much to cross the ocean. Therefore, we must unearth every possible link to the legacy while we are here. Why does this sound scripted? Especially one as important as Thebes. It sounds scripted. We will not sail back until I have plundered it. Oh, plundered. Good. Colonizer wordage verbiage. Cool. Love that. Love that. What kind of machine has your people pinned down near Thebes? A thunder job. Oh! We've dealt with them before, I'm but friends. this one is... Tougher, stronger, and it has black armor? Yes. How did you know? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Won't be easy, but I can take it down. Then destiny shines upon us, as I knew it would. A living ancestor now walks among I'm us. I'm obsessed with their clothes. And she will help me attain the I of am Thebes. gonna yeet this man into the ocean. We supply here if you must. Then on to Thebes at the base of the pyramid in the ruins. We will follow when our scouts confirm you've cleared the way. Why is everybody, why? Why can't they do anything? Why is it always me who has to do everything? Like I get it, I am the protagonist and like I wanna be involved in things, but like, 
and I'm like the player, you know, but like this, this, this game seems to take it to the extremes and it's a little frustrating. It's always the joke in video games though, that, like you're the only capable, competent one. But still, no, I want to... Okay, my stash, I do, I want to look around at this place for sure. Give me your notes. Lost at sea, 61. Okay, I blah, 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 machine sickness executed seven censored four censored. You what was what is worse than executing? Okay, off to the big pyramid to fight the thunder. No, Aloy. First, we're gonna explore these beautiful ships. Honestly, these are stunning. The colors, like I wish, I wish Western ships had have had like pretty paint designs and like colored their ropes and stuff. Like how gorgeous would that have been? Golly, look at this! Goods. They've got like a whole Valuable setup. Goods. It's so pretty, and they such strange sails. I love it. I love like the combination. At least I, I yeah, I know very little about shipwright shipboating stuff, but it looks like to me a combination of like Western and Eastern styled ships, and I love that because I I just think that's gorgeous. Look at this. I don't know. They had to have made big boats <laughs> in Imperial China and like, well, I made China for sure. Japan. Yes. Uh, freaking Korea? Yes, Korea's on the coast. Um, is Taiwan landlocked? I don't know. But like, I don't know, people People weren't as... These are like ocean-going vessels. Like, everybody had a boat. The freaking the Niles had boats, you know? Like, the Egyptians had boats with the Nile. And like, you had vessel vessels that could cross the Mediterranean and stuff all over, you know? But, uh... You gotta get big boats for crossing the ocean. Rules and regulations. Hoarding provisions will be with hearth measures. Furthermore, all forged food must be brought before our survival experts for identification, categorization, and rationing. All relics found in or near this are city to be brought before Diviner Neeric, Diviner Alva, or myself immediately, without question or hesitation. Failure to do so will irrevocably lead to capital punishment for both the Cobra and the next that came back home. Freaking, this is what they're taking from Imperial China, then. Um, is the, like, uh, the tradition of if there was, like, a, a traitor? Well, not a traitor, what do you say? Um, a uh, traitor, yes, but, like, uh, oh my gosh. It's, like, specific to, like, um, like, plotting against, like, the ruling family, essentially. Why well, can't... Treason! Treason is the word. Anybody who had treason, depending on, uh, whatever dynasty was, was in, was in power, was in charge, um... You, you would be executed and, like, your family within three generations or, like, one generation or two or three or freaking... I think I've heard, and this is, again, most of this, honestly, I get from, like, audiobooks and then uh, Chinese dramas, so don't quote me, but some of them were saying, like, seven generations, like, total eradication of the family line. Like, holy moly. Um, so they're pulling... That doesn't surprise me, though, and this is so cool to see, like, again, like, a very different cultural... Because, like, again... Ah, I know, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm just very excited about all of this, seeing, like, a different cultural background, like, this group of people who everybody is, like, mixed up, like, that's how they did, like, the, whatever, the, like, nurseries, essentially, was, like, everybody was, like, from a different ethnic group, so that doesn't matter, but, like, their background, their info is, like, coded for, like, Asian, like, Chinese, Taiwan, um, J Japanese, you know, like, they're from that area, so they they have, like, the emperor mindset and everything, you know what I mean? Like, this is so cool um, to just see and, like, see how they've taken it and run with it, you know? Um, no, no, no circumstances are you to approach our revered CEO unless given a, I keep wanting to say CEO and it keeps wanting me to punch myself in the face. Unless a direct order to do so, should this honor be bestowed upon you, improper conduct such as direct eye contact will be punished severely. Well, hopefully they don't take too much offense from me, uh, a barbarian. Good to formally meet. I'm trying to see. Are they're soldiers, but they have no armor? That's what they say. I'm trying to see if any of them have like a slave status or something. I wonder if I kept trying to play a uh, strike, if they'd be like, well, I don't know, man. You're a little out of, ah, you have to go all the way back over here to learn, I think. And it's like, what is wrong with you? So, it's true. See, these guys have more armor. Wait, 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 wait. Are they grouped? 
Are they are they grouped? Like no like the groups aren't mixing. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. this one's got a little bit nicer clothes. Maybe. Maybe this it looks blue. They have like similar designs across the bottom. And this is not this is like a tarp area, it's not as nice. And they're closer to the water. These guys have actual armor and nicer like individual tents. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They must have a caste system. I didn't believe. But now I see. You truly are an ancestor reborn. A good omen if I ever saw one. I'm a scout for the expedition. Whatever I learn of this strange land. Listen, I share I'm from here. I'm from this land. Duty to the ancestors. I should tell you then. Their hairstyles. I spotted a tall neck. Yeah. Southwest of I already know. Lying still in <gasps> death among the walls. Oh, that's uh, that's weird. They said glint hawks were stalking its <gasps> remains. Is it dead? So be wary <sighs> if you're out that way. Thanks. The tall necks shouldn't be dead. Maybe it's just beach to the southwest. How did it even get there? It seems I should have a look at we're a on chance. like a very islandy Please, thing. Come and eat. Are you are you an actual child? I think this is an actual child. Oh no, she's just very young. I don't know. She's very small. This is gorgeous. I think a lot of people associate the caste system, at least in the West, right? We associate caste system like what we know of it with India, which would be another source of inspiration for any sort of like Eastern air quotes um, group. Which I think, ah, Is there I'm trying to decide if like some of the way that these like rounded pointed towers, some kind kind of look, would would share similarities with that. But I'm not an expert on that, so on that area at all. Which I say a lot, but like I'm just like really interested by a lot of things, and I have a lot of generalized knowledge, but nothing specific. To be a diviner, we will deeply, deeply. And deeply blessed and solemnly responsible as scholars on the infinite wisdom of the ancestors, the commoners look to us for guidance. We must not forsake our duty to counsel them, however trivial their concerns and predicaments may seem to be. Let this primer serve as a touchstone for whatever their need of inspiration. If one is beset by fatigue or hunger, tell them to look to the spark. Nikita Aran, the ancestor who gave rise to our great empire. Oh, through her wisdom, we overcome stagnation to live in abundance. What? So Nikita Aran... She may be like an alpha or something from Forbidden from Zero Dawn. Boo boo boo. Or was there like something? To there was there was something else totally going on over there. That's right. I I believe I if I vaguely recall like China and the East had like their own system of way that they were trying to do things essentially. Like trying to deal with the crisis and what not uh if one is beset by malady or hardship to then to look to the healer song Jiao, the ancestor who defied notions of illness and death through her, her wisdom we strive to push past our physical restraints and live in vigor if one is beset by anxiety or trepidation tell them to look to protect her eric visser the ancestor who embodied strength in uncertain times through his wisdom we dominated our enemies to build a better future if one is beset by envy or bitterness someone look to the patron peter shivihumbe shivihumbe the ancestor who advocated for transcendence and humanity. Through his wisdom, we stifled dissension. Oh, stifled dissension. That's key. To form a society greater than the sum of its parts. Tell them to look to the... Ren if one is beset by apathy or hopelessness, tell them to look to the renewer. Who's the renewer? Um, also, this has vague, vague inklings of, I guess, a very basic idea of, like, communism, right? Where the, the whole is greater than its parts, right? The sum is greater than the parts. Whereas in a lot of Western societies, we tend to be very individualistic, but a lot of Eastern Asian societies tend to be more like the, the family unit, the, the country as a whole, like the group of the people as a whole, you know? And, like, uh, so that is interesting. Again, I'm not saying, like, you know, communism, but, like, that's obviously something that like influences that co the area culturally very very much and so if they didn't have the like group mentality stuff in here it would be uh like the idea of the of the the whole is greater than the parts it would be very weird honestly it would be very poorly implemented 
Yes, there you are. Come here. Okay. Where are you, like, under here? Oh, but I was going to say, um, there was also caste systems. I don't think it was quite as extreme, but there was a caste system in China as well. I'm not sure about, like, Korea. And Taiwan and stuff. I, Grave Singer, show me. I think I, that's the one I have, right? No. Yes. No. I have Warden. Why isn't it showing me? Is it essentially look the same? Dragoon. Okay, I did see that one. Did they, did we already have these? Honestly, like access to these. Cool. I can't see that. <laughs> Uh, it's in the shadows. Oh, I like the helmet on that. What, why is it all? It's so shadowed. I can't see it. Karja Trader. Highbrow trappers who seek to, seek to maximize profits from their quarry trap limit. Skilled salvager and shard salvager. I did get rid of my sunwing stuff. That one's, from what I can see, looks pretty cool. Very rare. But there's no Quinn. Next time I'll have something for you. Yeah, please. I want, I want, I want that one. I want that one right there. Anyway, oh my gosh, this episode has gone long. But look at this, guys. This is super neat. Hopefully, we get to have a little bit more than a taste of this, of like this culture, you know, or. If they're going to give us like a tantalizing look into it and then be like, next game or the DLC because there is DLC coming out too. But anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Riscalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And Adam, my other sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate both of you very, very much. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who's the super bestest and your support is super hey, appreciated, honestly. Well, well, I, I, it. I just, it's so great. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you guys again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.